actually. Um, what I want to do at this moment, you know, you've been sitting for a while, and this is a part of taking care of yourself. You can stand, allow me to ask you just to stand. Just to stand and take a break. Take this away and take care of yourself. Just stand. Just stand, take a break. Make sure that you're feeling light. This is for up and down your shoulders. Drop your arms down and let your breathing come out of your mouth at the moment. When you are in, uh, focusing on doing something, you got to know you need to take a break. Because if you don't know when to take a break, you keep pushing yourself against stress. Stress is allowing you to take in what you want to take in. So I want you to keep that in mind as you continue to study for your examination. And I want you to sit down now. I'm going to give just a few pointers. Uh, I'm thinking as I hear everyone talk about when I took the test, it was no prep. It was many, many years ago. And I remember uh, being concerned about what will I do. And it was no study group. I had a supervisor who was very much invested with me. And, and he said, uh, you want to study? I said, well, I don't have to study. I can do it on my own. And I did it on my own. And I went and I missed the test by one point. But I said to myself, I will not give up. So I had him to come over to drill me from every book from the beginning to the end. I took it in the next couple of months and I passed and did very well. But what I realized, my anxiety was very high. And I was trying to cram things in my head that wasn't even on the test. So he said, you just have to forget about everything that you read in the books. But just be open and be there with your thoughts. So I want to say to you tonight that your being here really shows a unified effort in terms of support. You already know that you're gifted, you already know that you're talented, of course you have the MSW, right? So you know that you're knowledgeable, so you're going to keep that as your base. But when you go in and listen to all the things that you heard thus far, and I have confidence that you will pass this time around. So I want to thank you for coming tonight, but you know our brains carry different things. Hope and hope and courage. So I'm going to ask you to remain inspired with the fact that you're here and that you graduated from school, and be inspired that you will continue that you will do well on this test. I want you to be encouraged to know that you're not alone because we're here, and if you're not here, we will have you in our thoughts. I want you to have confidence about your skills and who you are. I want you to be compassionate about who you are and what you bring, how you bring your compassion to your work. And I want you to remain hopeful. Hopeful about the future. Hopeful about today. Hopeful about the day that you're going to take the test. I want you to know that you are able, and I want you to be able to say it to yourself. I want you to embrace your strengths and your thoughts that are all positive thoughts around what you know and the knowledge. And I want you to embrace unity because unity is a part of a whole that makes you successful. The fact that you're here demonstrates that. And I want you to stand up now and I'm going to tell you to say two things. And I want you to believe these two things. Stand up again. So it's hard to give yourself breaks. When you find yourself getting stressed, don't keep pushing yourself through. I want you to turn to your person and I want you to say this. Keep your resilience alive. Thank <laughs> you.